All right, what's up, guys? I am super, super duper excited for this deck profile. We actually got brand new support for Arm Dragons, and the Arm Dragon support actually makes Ojama a very much more viable deck, uh, just because all of these new Arm Dragons actually share the name of Arm Dragon. Uh, with the old Arm Dragons, which is actually beneficial because you can use the new Arm Dragon Thunder Monster in order to special summon Arm the Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon, which is like one of my favorite boss monsters ever printed. It has like the most crazy effect. But actually, we there's a one card combo that we have played nine copies of in this deck that will allow us to special summon the Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon, one of my favorite cards of all time. So I'm very excited about that. Also, these new cards came out and make everything a lot easier to summon. You don't have to wait like multiple standby phases in order to summon these anymore. You can just summon them uh, basically all in one turn off of one card. So I'll show you that combo probably at the end of this video and I'll, I'll make another one later on if that's something that you guys want. Uh, but I'm very excited about this. We get to play Ojamas, and we're very happy about it. First, we play three copies of Ojama Blue. We have to chaz it up. This one never came out in the anime, but this one is very good for the combos. This is our combo starter. You can do this one card combo with an Ojama Blue, or a copy of Oja Match, or you can do it with a copy of rescue cat so as long as you have those you can do the full combo very very cool combo uh, but basically this one when you crash you get to add two ojama cards uh, if this card gets destroyed by battle you add two ojama cards uh, basically we just crash into our opponent until we get what we want so we play three copies of that because it's one of our impor most important combo starters next we play all of the normal monsters we play the ojama black uh, pretty cool artwork there not as cool as the next one which is the ojama yellow two copies of that and of course my favorite the Ojama Green, coolest looking one of the three of them. Uh, these cards, you don't want to see in your opening hand, but if you see them in your opening hand, you can't cry about it, you just got to live with it. It's no big deal, you can discard them, you have a ton of different things to do. It's not bad if you see them in your opening hand, it's just not good. Uh, you'd rather have like hand traps or those one card combo starters that I mentioned earlier. But, you know, if you get them, you get them. It's, you know, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. Uh, next, we play three copies of Rescue Cat. Uh, this, again, is one of our one-card combo starters because you could just summon this, tribute it, and then summon two copies of Ojama Blue. And Ojama, it negates its effects, but the graveyard effects still go through because um, they're like separate. They're in the graveyard. Uh, then we play the new card, three copies of Ojama Level 3. I'm sorry, Arm Dragon Level 3. Uh, this card basically uh, allows you to... All of the new Arm Dragon cards, what they do is you can discard a monster from your hand and send the Arm Dragon from your side of the field to the graveyard, and then you can summon either the next level or the same level. Additionally, they all have effects when they are sent to the graveyard from the hand by a dragon effect. Uh, so they are significantly better than they used to be. They used to be terrible. Uh, but this one has the additional effect that when it's discarded by a dragon effect, it can draw a card, uh, which is, again, pretty useful because we will use that in the combo. We play one copy of Arm Dragon Level 5. Arm Dragon Level 5, basically, uh, you just climb. It's really not that big of a deal. You go from 3, you get a 5, and then 5 if it's discarded, although we won't discard it in, in the, this particular deck. If it's discarded, you get to add a Level 5 or higher Wind Monster, a Wind Dragon, uh, which you can actually add Tempest if we were playing something else, but we're not. Uh, we Arm Dragon Level 7, Thunder Level 7. It, again, it's compatible with the Dragon Catapult Cannon. This is usually where we end. Um, but we're not going to, just in case, I like to play the Arm Dragon uh, level 10. Just in case our Ojama route somehow gets uh, stopped, it's nice to have the Arm Dragon route just to throw out like a big beefy monster onto the board. Um, and uh, additionally, what you can do is you can actually end on this anyway, uh, because, yeah, you can end on this anyway just in case sometimes. Uh, it just helps uh, overall. Uh, because the great thing about the Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon is that can, it banishes out of the graveyard, uh, which is actually fairly useful. The Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon banishes out of the... You can summon um, the Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon by banishing the materials from the graveyard or from the field. Uh, so you can just use your Arm Dragon Level 7, make the Arm Dragon Level 10, keep the Arm Dragon Level 10 on the field, and then you could just make the Arm Dragon uh, Catapult Cannon by banishing them in the graveyard, which is... Pretty cool, and you don't have to give. You can just basically keep an Arm Dragon level 10 Thunder, and then keep this on board uh, in the combo. Uh, so we play that. Let me just move these over for a little space. Uh, now for the X Y X Y Z W X Y Z targets, we play. Let me put these in order to the best of my ability. 
Uh, we play the V Tiger Jet. Uh, this is the Ultra Rare. It looks absolutely terrible. The Common actually looks better, but it's not shiny, as you can see. I don't know why they did this. It's like the Tiger Shiny. Why would you make the Tiger Shiny? And it, the same color as the background. Uh, we play one copy of W Wing Catapult, one copy of X Head Cannon, one copy of Y Dragon Head Cannon, one copy of Z Metal Tank. And that is it for them. Uh, again, these we just summon out of the deck very easily by using Ojamification, so you can play them. They're no, no big deal there. Uh, now for the going second cards. We play three copies of Alpha Master of Beasts. This card is actually really good for going second um, in this particular deck too, but be because it basically special summons itself if your opponent controls more cards. Uh, or more monsters you special summon it you bounce you can bounce any number of beasts from your side of the field meaning either like um, Beast beast warriors or wing beasts from your side of the field back to the hand And then it allows you to bounce that many cards on your opponent's side of the field And then this summon is not once per turn so you could just resummon it again So this is one of the three going for second cards we play next we play three copies of Nibiru uh, and the Nibiru is important uh, simply because um, yeah, it just helps us summon a monster on their side of the field that's really weak. Uh, we basically break their board when they're doing a bunch of link summons, and then we just throw a token on their side of the field in attack position, and uh, we can basically continuously crash in that and combo off if we have to. We play three copies of the best card to draw with our one card combo, which is the Dark Ruler or more, because it turns everything off. Uh, whatever you're playing it with, you can actually modify this. Uh, to do whatever you want like you can play lightning storm if you needed to you can play any number of hand traps You could modify this if you had to uh, you don't have to play the exact cards that I'm putting down right now If you feel like other going second cards would be better three copies of Oja match this lets us uh, discard an Ojama card and then it basically allows us to uh, Search out an armed dragon monster and in addition to an armed dragon monster it lets us add an Ojama monster and then it gives us an additional normal summon and this is a quick play so you can actually do this in battle phase uh, we play one copy of Oja Magic lets us add the Ojamas two copies of Ojamification these are very easy to add so the maximum that we have to play is the two copies and that's exactly what we're going to play which is the maximum and then we play three copies of the armed dragon flash which sometimes they pop sometimes weird stuff happens they'll, they'll pop like the Ojama uh, the They'll pop the uh, Arm Dragon level 3, or the Arm Dragon level 3 effect won't go through. Something weird will happen, so it's good to have the Arm Dragon Flash. It, it just basically allows you to special summon Arm Dragon level 3 from your deck. It's actually a pretty like broken card, all things considered. Like There's not a lot of quick plays that special summon from the deck, and its effects aren't negated or anything. The only restriction on it is that it's a hard once per turn. It's This card's pretty good. Like Even in Guard Dragons, this card is... Like in a Guard Dragon deck, this card's actually kind, kind of decent. Uh, so that is it for the main deck. Uh, the extra deck is a mess, i got to be honest with you. Um, the only cards that you need to play are the XYZ targets, and then the only other things that I would recommend are, like, just good Link monsters. Just play whatever good Link monsters. The only one I would definitely recommend you play is IP. Other than IP, you don't have to play any of this stuff. But, you know, like good stuff, like Mech Knight, Crusader, Avermax, Unicorn, uh, Cerberus, Nightmare Phoenix. Just play stuff like that. Um, you can play access code talker. Just play good generic link fours, link threes. Um, so that's it for the links. Just just whatever whatever floats your boat in that department. That's not the important. Stuff. The important stuff is the nonsense. You got to play one copy of Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. Uh, definitely, this card's like one. Like I said, one of my favorite boss monsters. We play one copy of VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Uh, one copy of XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Also. Uh, we play one of those. Uh, this card is kind of crazy. You can discard a card to pop a card in your opponent's side of the field. That effect is not once per turn. And as you'll see from the combo, we go super duper plus. So you can discard like five cards and pop five cards. And if they're under Dark Ruler or more, you literally break a board. It's disgusting. Uh, we, I just play this just because I've run out of links to play. So we play the ZY just for difference. The X, um, the XZ and the XY. Usually wouldn't play those. I'm just, I'm just being a, a BSer here. Um, and then we play the VW, and then we've got these two just because I just found it interesting that XYZ Dragon Dragon Cannon actually has three artworks, and there's cards out there that barely have one, but this has three artworks. But like I said, I'm just BSing with the rest of that. You only have to play like five of those, but you just refill it with mostly Link Monsters. The important ones are this, this, and this. That's it. These are the only three you actually have to play. 
Uh, actually, no, hold on. And uh, this. These are the four you have to play. The rest can be all just generic good link monsters. I just wanted to throw those out because I like them a lot. But let me show you the combo real quick. Let me move the mat in place and zoom out. And I zoom in, of course. It's professional camera work here, guys. Alright, let me just move this up a little. No way I'm doing two takes. Alright, so all you need is... Here's what we'll do. We'll give our opponent a monster. We'll give him like... Uh, let me see here. What's just a monster? Quick monster. We'll give them a... I don't know, Arm Dragon level 3, right? That's their monster. All we need for our opening hand is a single copy of Ojama Blue. So we're going to normal summon the Ojama Blue, and we're going to crash into their monster. Since we have zero, they have any amount. We take the damage, the Ojama Blue goes to the graveyard, activate Ojama Blue to add a copy of Oja Match and Oja Magic. Next, we're going to activate the effect of Oja Match. We're going to discard the Oja Magic in order to add an Ojama a monster and a Ojama and an Arm Dragon monster. So we're going to add an Arm Dragon level 3 and we're going to add a copy of Ojama Blue right there. Uh, now this effect will resolve. It'll give us an additional normal summon. We're still in battle phase by the way. This will give us an additional normal summon. This is all one effect. So we're going to use our extra normal summon to summon an Ojama Blue. So this will resolve. This will go to the grave here. We are now going to crash again with Ojama Blue into the uh, into their monster. We take the damage. This goes to the graveyard. We are going to special sum or add to our hand two Ojama cards, which is going to be the Oja match. And it, it doesn't matter who, but just any sort of Ojama card. So we'll just add. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot to add. Uh, I forgot to activate the effect of Oja Magic. Oja Magic lets us add all three Ojamas to our hand. So we're going to add one, two, and three. That's the card that we discarded. I'm sorry about that. So when you discard this card, it lets you add three Ojamas. But we still have, uh, yeah, when you discard the Oja Magic, it lets you add uh, three Ojamas to your hand. We discarded off of Oja Magic. Uh, so those got added. And now we're going to activate, like I said, our second copy of Oja Match. Or add our second copy of Oja Match. And we're going to add o Ojama Simulation. This is all in battle phase. This is after we resolve the second Ojama Blue. Now we're going to activate another copy of Oja Match. In battle phase, not once per turn at all. We're going to add another copy of Ojama Blue. And another copy of Arm Dragon Level 3. We're going to activate, the, use the effect again of this to extra normal summon. Summon another Ojama Blue to our side of the field. We're going to crash again into them, and we're going to add another Oja Simulation and another copy of Oja Match. Uh, now we're going to activate Oja Match again uh, in order to search two cards, which is going to be our last copy of Arm Dragon, which is going to be this one. And we're going to add any Ojama at this point. It doesn't even matter. So we're just going to add Ojama Green because I like Ojama Green the best. And then we're going to use the effect of Oja Match, again, not once per turn, in order to extra normal summon a copy of Arm Dragon Level 3 to our side of the field. Now, now we are going to go to Main Phase 2. We now have all of these cards. kind of crazy. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the, Ojama level th uh, the Arm Dragon Level 3, discard the Arm Dragon Thunder Level 3, in order to special summon Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5 from our deck. By sending Arm Dragon level 3 and the one from our hand. Summon the or Arm Dragon level 5 from our deck. Uh, next, we can activate the Arm Dragon level 5. Send the green. And by the way, not yet. Uh, then this gets discarded, we get to draw a card. So I'll just add an extra like plus card there. Activate Arm Dragon level 5. We're going to discard this copy of Ojama Green. In order to send this to the graveyard. To summon a copy of... Arm Dragon level 7, and then we can actually use the Arm Dragon level 7, discard that, discard the Ojama yellow, send the Ojama, send the Arm Dragon level 7 to the graveyard in order to summon the Arm Dragon level 10 to our side of the field. And then we are going to. 
from here on in, we are going to activate the effect of Ojama Simulation. Uh, basically, we can reveal a, a monster from our extra deck, an XYZ monster from our extra deck, and then special summon those materials for that monster from the deck. So we're going to reveal the Catapult Turtle. And then we're going to special summon the appropriate materials for that by banishing Ojamas from the graveyard. So we're going to use our graveyard here. We're going to banish two materials, which is the Ojama yellow and the Ojama green. doesn't matter which ones. We're going to banish those two in order to summon the appropriate materials. So we're going to summon a copy of W-Wing Catapult and V-Tiger Jet to our side of the field. And now we can use those for a contact fusion to summon v Tiger Catapult, uh, w, VW Tiger Catapult. Uh, we're going to activate the second Ojama Simulation in order to reveal the XYZ Dragon Catapult to our opponent. And then we can summon the appropriate materials by banishing three Ojamas. So we're going to banish one, two, three Ojamas. Banish these three Ojamas in order to summon the Z-Metal Tank, the Y-Head Dragon, and the X-Head Cannon to our side of the field. And now we can contact fuse these three into the XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Uh, now this card actually has a really crazy effect where if you discard a card, and we went Super Plus, as you can see we have four extra cards we're not going to do anything with. Uh, you can actually discard a card to pop a card on our opponent's side of the field. That effect is not once per turn. So we can literally pop four cards right now. And with Dark Ruler No More, that card is actually super good. This card is disgusting with Dark Ruler No More. Because you can, like I said, pop four cards. Uh, so, yeah, you can do that. Uh, this you can discard to change battle position. Totally irrelevant. And then this uh, gives you interruptions on their turn, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to use these two. We're going to uh, contact fuse those two away to summon the VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Uh, this card allows you to target a card on your opponent's side of the field and banish it just for free. It's really cool. Uh, but we are pretty much done here. Uh, you could have made, you could use these two to make an IP if you want to, but we're not going to do it because we have to flex the extra mile. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to banish this and banish the Arm Dragon level 7 in order to special summon the copy of Arm Dragon catapult cannon to our side of the field and now pretty much from this position it's almost impossible to lose uh, because we've basically broken their board and we just end our our turn and then we can uh activate this effect to banish a card from our deck and then we just banish their entire field and graveyard non-targeting on top of that they can't activate cards or effects uh that have banished uh that cards or effects that share a name with card with um cards that are banished so they're basically locked out of their own archetype most of the time uh, but yeah one of the craziest boss monsters not a lot of protection there but that's kind of irrelevant uh, and then we've got the arm dragon thunder level 10 we can just discard any of these cards in order to have an additional interruption if we wanted to uh, but that is basically it if you enjoyed this deck profile let me know if you want to see the combo in a neater way uh, just yes yeah, just spam it in the comment section but thank you for watching